time for you to get out and enjoy sausages. <gasps> sausages? There are sausages in this box. <gasps> we took the wrong box. So where is Mr. Penguin? So what's it to be? Rainy day in Rill? <sighs> or ocean breeze over Cardiff? <sighs> oh, I'll use them both. I'll just unpack that box. Then I can go and stuff Trevor's peppers. I wonder what's in this one. Ah! Oh! Oh no! My whiffy candles! Oh no! Fire! Oh! Oh! The door's blocked! Too many boxes! I need to go upstairs! Oh dear! I've never carried a penguin upstairs before. But I suppose it's the first time for everything. Oh! oh, oh. enjoy the meal with Dillis. I will enjoy the meal with Dillis. Oh, why did I say yes? She'll only do those stuffed peppers again. Oh, dear. Help! I think I'd better call Fireman Sam. Oh, you are back. How did it go? Oh, we didn't find one. What? A fire hydrant? No, a waddly penguin. There's a fire at the Cut Price store, and Dillis Price and a penguin are trapped upstairs. There's a fire at the Cut Price store, and it... Dillis Price and a penguin are trapped upstairs! Yes, there. Nelly and Arnold, you take Venus. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam. Penny, Elvis, we'll go in Jupiter. Do you think it could be the same penguin, Sam? The chances are pretty high, Elvis. Norman. Sam's on his way. Ellie, we'll fight the fire. Elvis and Penny, you get Dillis and the Penguin. Waddily Penguin! Quickly, Elvis! Oh! Oh! Hello, oh. <laughs> Waddily Penguin! <laughs> oh! Oh, it smells all fishy! An emergency flare has been fired from Ponty Pandy Island! Penny, get Neptune ready. Elvis is on his way. They're searching the island. But we're over here. Anything? Nothing, Penny. Sam, they're not on the island. They can't be far. You keep looking there, I'll go north. Hey. Over here! You don't think we're stuck out here, do you? No way. Not with Sam and the team looking for us. They'll find us. <laughs> Told you! It's Ben and Hannah. I found them. We're on our way. 
It's my fault, Sam. I should have stopped when I felt my shoulder go. Well, we all push beyond our limits sometimes, Ben. Lucky you had Hannah with you. You OK, Hannah? <laughs> I didn't finish. Off you go. Finish the challenge. Really? Well, she might need a bit of help. Go, Hannah! Hot like the wind! <gasps> Whoa! Of course you did, Hannah. We knew you would, didn't we? Yeah. So let's have a big cheer for Ponty Pandy's new kayak challenge champion, Hannah! Oh, Yay! Well done, Hannah! Norman, what are you doing? Dad said it wasn't ready. I'm just testing it. What's up? Scared you can't bounce as high as me? But come on then, Mandy, prove it. All right, I will. <laughs> I sing my songs till I think I'll burst, but I never forget the time of I'm on first. I love to rock and I love to swing, but the thing I love best is when that fire bell rings. A ding a ding a ding a ding, a just one more verse. Everybody knows the time of fireman first. <laughs> I am the biggest bouncer, the biggest show of my life. <laughs> Fireman Sam! Mandy Flood and Norman Bryce are on an inflatable bouncy castle that's heading out to sea. Mandy Flood and Norman Price are on an inflatable bouncy castle that's heading out to sea. Castle heading north, northwest, Sam. Roger that, Ben. This is all your fault, Norman Price. We'll be fine, Mandy. This thing is full of air, so how can it sink? <coughs> oh, no, not you again. Shoot, shoot! Find Tom! Visibility is worse than I thought. And the current's quite strong. Boat engines. I'm here! Hello! I'm here! I'm, I'm over here! Nothing's coming up on radar. Tom's dinghy may be too small to show up. Just keep your eyes and ears open, everybody. I can't hear me. Oh! Hey! I'm over here! Hey! I'm over here! Hey! Whoa! <laughs> what I give to be back in my helicopter! The wind is northwest, the tide turns in three hours, plus there's a spring current running. There! The 
that's where Tom should be. And Sam is searching over here, in the wrong place. The wrong place? Sam! Come in, Sam! Charlie, we're listening. You need to change course. Tom should be west of Pontypandy Island and a lot further out from the shore. Are you absolutely sure, Charlie? I fished here for years, Sam. I'm as sure as any Pontypandy fisherman can be. Penny, Ben, you heard Charlie. Let's change course. Roger that, Sam. Hang on, kids. Will Tom really be where you said, Dad? I hope so, Sarah. I really do. Oh, I'm not sure how much longer I can hang on for. Uh, an engine? It's, it's a boat. Hey! You found me! There you go, Tom. Oh, thanks, guys. I thought I'd have to swim for it. It's Charlie you need to thank. He told us where to find you. Ahoy there! Thanks, Charlie. If it wasn't for you, I I'd still be out there, mate. You're a legend. I guess something went right today after all. <laughs> oh, Dad is the best! He's the coolest Dad ever! All those who agree, sound your horns! Hooray! 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 Well done! Come on now, you lot. Gather in close. I, I don't know what Sam was on about. We're easy to photograph. Cheese! Are we ready? Fireman Sam, standing by, sir. Firefighter Philip, standing by. Firefighter McKinley, standing by. Firefighter Morris, standing by. Wallaby One, standing by. Well, this is relaxing. Right. On with the show. Oh, hello, Ponty Pandy. Well done, Elvis. Oh, yes. Well, well done, Cridlington. Always knew you could do it. <laughs> right, all clear, everyone. Back to the station. Well, I just hope that Mike does as well as me. Hello, Ponty Pandy! I'd like to introduce you to the new member of my band, the Strum Master 2000. There's a place I know where the people say hello Your new band member's not exactly Elvis, is he, Dad? He will be! Turn it all the way up, Joe! Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear Oh, no! Elvis really wouldn't do it like that Someone needs to call Fireman Sam! Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire. Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire. Elvis, you and Ellie go in Jupiter. Penny, you and Arnold take Venus. I'll take Mercury. <laughs> Arnold, you get everyone to safety. Elvis, make sure the power's off. Penny, you help me tackle the blaze. Roger, Roger that, Sam. Power's off, Sam. I don't think the Strum Master 2000 will make it to his solo. Move back, everyone. Yes, you all need to be at least 5.5 metres further back for maximum safety.
to the mountains now! It's too stormy for Tom's helicopter. I'm calling the station. There's only one thing strong enough to move this tree. Will anyone find us, Grandad? Don't worry, James. I'm sure we'll be rescued soon. Okay, Phoenix. You can do this. Easy does it. Saturn is ready to launch some, and I'm ready to head into the mountains. Come in, Sam. Saturn has detected body heat just ahead of you. Over. Copy that, Elvis. <gasps> it's Uncle Sam. Come in, Elvis. I found them, and I'm bringing them down. Roger that, Sam. I'll bring Saturn back. Norman, James is the star of the show, not you. But James hasn't turned up. Fireman Sam! Fire at the Lido. The Froggy Fantasy has burst into flames. There's a fire at the Lido. The Froggy Fantasy has burst into flames. We'll meet you there, Arnold. We'll drive Venus and Jupiter down. That won't be quick enough. Tom, you'll need to winch me up. Right away, Sam. James? James! Oh no! Here comes Tom and Fireman Sam! Stand back, everyone! Sam, we can't find James. He didn't do his froggy finale and he's, he's not... locked in the changing rooms. What? How did that happen? I wanted to be the star of the show, so I glued the door shut. I'm really sorry, Fireman Sam. I didn't know there was going to be a fire. Never mind that now, Norman. We need to rescue him, and we haven't got any fire engines here. Oh, no. What have I done? Tom, I've got a plan. I need you back here right now. I'm heading for the changing rooms. They're not on fire yet, but they soon will be. Are you ready? Nearly, Sam. Just loading up. Help! Help! It's all right, James. Stand back. Uncle Sam! I got you. Don't worry. Tom, are you ready? We're there, Sam. Elvis. Okay, Tom. <laughs> I've got it all under control.
We're safe, everyone, but the fire's still burning. Tom, more water. We'll use the houses, too. Norman, or oh, that silly penguin. Oh, <gasps> don't listen to him, Pengy. Come on, we'll show them. Norman! Norman! The... That's it. I've stood up for you. I told everyone you were a super penguin, and all you've done is make me fall over and look stupid. Derek's right. You are a silly penguin. <laughs> Off the eyes, everyone! I can't! <gasps> I better call Fireman Sam! is trapped on a burning ice rink with a penguin. Norman Price is trapped on a burning ice rink with a penguin. Did he say penguin? Come on, we'll take Jupiter. I think we're OK. The ice is melting uh, and the water will put out the fire. It's an electrical fire, Mike. Water just makes it more dangerous. What are we going to do, Sam? Ellie, you turn off the power. Arnold, you blast the fire with foam. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam. I'll get Norman. Stay calm, Norman. I'm on my way. Oh! Ah! Now look what you've done. My human Sam can't reach me. Norman, use your penguin to skate to me. I didn't mean what I said, Pengy. You really are a super penguin. Now get me out of here! Come on, Norman. You can do it. Keeping the fireworks? That lot could go up like a rocket. There's a fire in the tent. Where they're keeping the fireworks. We need you back here now, Sam. Roger that, sir. Keep back, everyone. Those fireworks could go off at any moment. Mike, what have you done? Oh, I know. Oh. Penny, you keep the firework boxes hosed down. I'll tackle the rest of the fire. Looks like this tatty old board was the cause of the fire. That was my masterpiece. I'm thinking that might have had something to do with the fire. I'm sorry. I was trying to dry the paint quickly with my heater. Well, you need to be much more careful about where you set up your heater, Mike. Especially around fireworks. Sorry, Sam. Are the fireworks okay? 
Well, these ones are a bit soggy, but I'm sure we can get some more in time for tonight's display. It took me ages to paint that board. Don't worry, love. Why don't you just go and get the one from last year? Up for the night. <gasps> Norman Price, those coconuts were stuck down. <gasps> no wonder poor Trevor could knock them off. Uh oh. Run! Ah! Oh, Dillis. Oh, Trevor, you do look a fine figure of a man. <laughs> well, that's over for another year, Sam. It was less trouble than last time. It's not. My head stuck. Ooh, just drop the hammer on my foot, eh? Ooh. Keep walking, Penny. Just keep walking. Careful, Sam. This tunnel sometimes floods. It's really dangerous. <coughs> Don't worry, Mandy. I'm coming down. Hey, Mandy. Here's some water. Oh, thanks, Penny. I slipped, but I think I'm okay. You're a long way down. What do you think, Penny? I can't carry her up. There's no room for us both to fit. We've got to find another way. What's that noise? What's going on down there? I can hear Station Officer Steele working on the handcart. Hmm. Oh, she'll be growing batty wings by now and hanging upside down. Poor Mandy Bat. Moose, is there a map of the caves? Yeah, right here. These are the caves. They go into the mountain this way. And the old mines go into the mountain this way. They get pretty close, just where Mandy is trapped. All ready to go, thanks to two experts. <laughs> it needs two drivers as well. Who's coming with me? You're the one who knows about emergency rescues, Norris. Sam, thank you. You two need to be a bit more careful. Sorry, Sam. Uncle Sam, look over there! Oh, no. We have to deal with that before it spreads. What? Where are the beaters? The what? The floppy shovels. Ah, you see, the thing is, we used them as paddles. Last time we saw them, they were floating off down the river. It was all Norman's fault. 
I don't care whose fault it was. If we can't beat out that fire, it's going to spread fast. No broken bones. It's just badly bruised. Thank goodness for that. What on earth has been going on here? We've been getting fit. Well, I hope you had a warm-up before you started. Well, I... And built up slowly. <laughs> <gasps> There's a woodland fire near the mill. There's a woodland fire near the mill. Hold on! Where do you think you lot are going? There's no way this crew is fit for duty. But there's a fire in the woods. I'm afraid, sir, this is down to us. What? Oh, oh, yes, us. <laughs> yes. I, I'll just get my helmet. Stay well back, everyone. Help will be here very soon. Where's the rest of the crew, sir? I'll explain later, Sam, but we're here now and ready for action. OK, then. Let's get this fire under control. You two take the hoses. I'll start beating. This could have been easily dealt with if you boys hadn't lost those floppy shovels. Sorry, Fireman Sam. In this hot weather, it's vital to be able to put out small fires quickly before they spread. I should never have left them alone with that cooking stove. That's true, Trevor. Ah, oh, nothing like getting away from the office and putting out a good fire. Don't you agree, sir? Uh, abs <laughs> absolutely. Are you OK, sir? You sound out of breath, old chap. Wow! Sarah, that's amazing! What's amazing? Where? Thanks. I made it. So, who's ready to play one of my games? Yeah! yeah. Anything but uh, make a mummy. But, so this game is called Pin the Tail on the Spooky Cat. Can anyone else smell burning? My house! My bath! <sighs> ah, this is so nice and peaceful. We have to call Fireman Sam. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Scanning area. Kitchen is clear. Station Officer Steele has finally given up on the toffee apples. Yeah, he's just there, Elvis. Oh. Ah. Uh. Oh! There is a fire at a children's party at the Holfish Cafe. There's a fire at a children's party at the Whole Fish Cafe. The fire's getting worse. Everyone, lie down on the floor. Get as low as you can. Come on, let's do as Penny says. The door is blocked and the children are trapped in the back. Elvis, you take the holes and I'll get the crowbar. Firefighter, Sam, air 100%. Ready, Elvis. Firefighter, Ready, Sam. Air 100%. Firefighter, Sam, air 100%. Keep back, everyone. One at a time, take my hand and stay low. <laughs> That's it, Mandy. Come 
to me. Where are Sarah and James? <laughs> if you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to help.